We are living in hopeful times. Around the world, real progress is being made against malaria, illiteracy, extreme poverty, and many other previously intractable problems. But some crises we are just beginning to understand. In the poorest countries, many families survive by recycling lead batteries. They are not aware that they are poisoning themselves, their children, and the environment in the process. Millions of independent gold miners use mercury to extract gold particles from the earth, releasing this toxin into the water, soil, and food chain. In other locations, men, women, and children scavenge e-waste dump sites to dismantle and burn components to extract valuable metals, exposing themselves to dangerous fumes and a host of toxic chemicals and substances. And for families unlucky enough to live close to abandoned industrial sites, they are exposed to deadly levels of invisible toxins every day for generations. These are big problems, affecting over 200 million people worldwide, causing disability and early death. But we have solutions, and they're surprisingly simple and affordable. Pure Earth discovers and assesses toxic waste sites around the world. We find and empower local partners and work with them to identify and measure the toxins involved. We help them assess the health risks to the local population and execute a cleanup and remediation strategy. Education programs to raise awareness, reduce toxic exposure, and stop recontamination are at the center of our work. In Dakar, Senegal, where dozens of children died from lead poisoning, we led a cleanup and helped local women launch micro-enterprises to replace their toxic work. In Indonesia, Bolivia, and Mongolia, Pure Earth is training miners in alternative methods of gold extraction with a range of mercury-free technologies. In Ghana, we are providing wire stripping units that eliminate the need to burn off plastic coating to get at the valuable copper wire. And in Haina, in the Dominican Republic, after we cleaned up communities surrounding an abandoned lead smelter, blood lead levels have fallen for thousands living in the area. The risk of permanent brain damage and death has been massively reduced for children born here. But there are far too many sites around the world, just like Haina, where children are being damaged every day from exposure to toxic pollutants. To expand our work and save more lives, we need your help. Please visit our website, pureearth.org, to learn more. Make a donation. Spread the word on social media. Cleaning up one community at a time brings us closer to a pure earth.